Hi everyone, welcome to my Odoo 18 module development tutorial. If you're here, it probably means you're interested in exploring how to build custom modules for Odoo 18. And guess what? I haven't tried this yet either, so we'll be learning it together step by step. For those unfamiliar with Odoo, it is a powerful open source ERP solution that offers wide range of ready-to-use modules for businesses of all sizes. Its modular design, user-friendly interface, and growing community support have made Udo one of the leading ERP solutions globally. Udo consistently introduces new version with innovative features and enhancements. The most recent version, Udo 18, was released on October 2024. From my experience, the server framework syntax remains largely unchanged, making the transition smoother for developers. However, the web framework has evolved significantly. These changes often introduce different syntax, method names, and file structures, which can be a bit tricky at first. In this series, we'll set up our environment for Odoo 18 development, create our first custom module, explore the key files and folder structure that make up an Odoo module, add a simple feature to our module, starting from small and building up from there. This includes the web client, website, and web apps using all framework. Finally, deploy Odoo on a VPS server. I'll make sure to explain things as clearly as possible. By the end, you'll have a solid foundation to start building your own modules. Why Odoo 18? Odoo 18 brings a lot of improvements to its already powerful framework, including a more polished user interface, enhanced performance, and many other features. You can check that on the release notes from general and across different modules. If you are a developer and planning to use Odoo in your projects, learning to develop modules is an essential skill that lets you unlock its full potential. Check out one of my videos explaining why I love Odoo as a developer. Alright, so before we dive into coding, here's what you'll need. You need to have basic knowledge on Python programming language, XML, SQL database, JavaScript, CSS or SCSS, and HTML. We also need to install the following apps. Python as the main programming language, PostgreSQL and pgAdmin for the database. We need to install Git for downloading the Udo community base code. Node.js for installing right to left interface if you're working with Arabic language and the likes. WK HTML to PDF for rendering PDF reports, then Visual Studio Code or PyCharm for our IDE. You can choose whatever you want as long as you're comfortable working on it. Based on what OS you will use, there are other required apps to install and configure which I will be explaining on the next video. It's gonna be a long series. If you're already an expert to Odoo development, you can skip some part and focus only to what you don't know yet. So see you in the next video where we'll set up our environment and take our first steps toward building a custom module in Odoo 18.